Hello everybody and welcome to, I can't even remember even though I've just done it, 21, 23, game number 24 of Nerg or Tentalica, a 300 TV advantage against Necro. It's, I'm actually getting the advantages now, which is good. Um, it's MC Hammer. Um, I played him in OCC and he he smashed the fuck out of me, I, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone tends to. Um, or maybe I didn't play him, I don't know. He's he's in my OCC group, though, I know that. And he's got a blodge wolf, and a block wolf, and some ghouls, and a guard. But, I mean, he'll probably get an extra wolf, won't he? Or a wizard, or... He, does he have any money? Yeah, so he could get a wizard and um, Cheney, couldn't he? If he's If he's super serious. It's, it's going to be my, all about my Clawpom again, isn't it? If I can Clawpom his wolf, and if his wolves don't tee off on my guys, that's what it's all about. I'm not going to buy a wizard. Do his, uh, this MC Hammer guy, does his wolves make you so hard? Does it make you say, oh my lord, thank you for blessing me with a mind to rhyme and two hype feet? That's good, when you know you're down, super dope homeboy from the Oaktown and such. And this is a beat you can't touch. Mm. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to clarify. Yep. Yep. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very important Fagos, Kurgo. He doesn't have answers to the Fagos. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. It is good being 300 TV up instead of 300 TV down. Feels good, man. Though the, the the wizard is always a danger, isn't it? That is the thing. That is the thing. The wizard is always scary. I mean, he might not buy the wizard. He might just go Cheney and a babe, mightn't he? Oh, yeah, I guess I could, yeah. Cake of death, yeah. Just get a babe, yeah. That's not a bad idea. Or even a bribe. Yeah, so he's gone Cheney Wiz, obviously. So he's actually up TV in effectively, isn't he, in the match? Yeah, that's a good point, Kago Death. But then what if somebody if dies, well then I've still got enough, haven't I? I'll kill 100k. Yeah. Yeah, I should do if that. If you know, you see they've been probably good, I would spend the money. Yeah. If it's not too late. I've already upgraded the stadium, so... Yeah, I should have probably got at least a babe, yeah. I mean, that's what, that's what the money's for. It's for someone that knows what they're doing. Yeah. If the guy is in a league probably knows what he's doing if you have the slightest inclination that he beat you in a match ever I'll yeah. Wizard. yeah fair enough yeah probably i should have bought the wizard there yeah shizer right anyway Shiza. yes i should not have tried hard i should have tried harder but um yeah. and i probably should have kicked here but then on the other hand he's got three claws so i don't really want to give him claw hits to her and if i if i get you know i don't know i want to see where i stand with the wizard basically that's the thing i don't know I don't know, maybe I should have kicked. I just I just panicked. <laughs> but um yeah. Yeah, if a claw if you close or in the region fails I might need the full hundred and fifty. But then I'll get more, won't I? I'll be down to hundred, I'll get at least ten even if I lose. So yeah, buying a buying a babe would have been totally safe. Um but yeah, I'm gonna fuck off and try hard, so yes. See you all everybody. I'll leave you in the cable hands of Fash. Thank you very much, Fashbinder. Uh India's no finest. Uh be right, right back. Shiza. Also, this is like Christmas Cheney to you. Is that a new skin? I swear that's a new skin. It is actually Christmas Cheney, isn't it? Yeah, he's red and green. It didn't used to look <laughs> like that, I swear. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely new. Holy shit, Christmas Cheney. Unbelievable. Unbelievable gem. Okay, right, sorry. Hmm. He does a good preamble. I mean, there's nothing to get distracted by. Well, unless you talk during the inducement phase and then don't think about uh, what inducements you could get with your 150k because you're distracted by chat. He definitely does play better when he's not distracted by chat, though. There's no doubt about it. Like, these uh, games today and yesterday, 
in terms of the moves he makes. Like, uh, I nitpick just to be saying something. But it is, it is global at its finest. And look, chat really is distracting. I'm just taking that little bit of uh, concentration away to talk about something janky. Yeah, look, the Nurgle setup is... Sorry, not Nurgle, the Necro setup is pretty crazy. I guess he's looking to deny Pom hits. Rephrase, he's not looking to deny Pom hits. Uh, has the ghouls exposed uh, on, on flanks. It, it is absolutely crazy. Let's think about what the advantage could be. I guess the advantage is... There's no advantage. It's just madness. Yeah, definitely Pom the Ghoul. And you sort of want Warriors open to react to it. So yeah, the left side Ghoul's getting Pommed. Number four Nurgle Warrior is going to go strain out the Pom body. I guess it's an aggressive setup that has you a couple squares closer on your eight move walls. And so, tell you what, this will, this will be me being optimistic to MC Hammer go Hammer. But it's so that every wolf will be able to go around behind the screen and harass the ball from turn one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's what it is. He's just going to go hyper-aggressive. Oh, you can always rely on your alcoholism, Jumpy Jim. You know, I, th I think it's good that you're working to reform and like you're cutting back and you're recording every little sip you take. And so like like those those sorts of baby steps, a uh, a pretty good idea to, to drop booze completely. Perfect defense, never lucky. Oh, hey, Kruburn. My name is my name is Jimmy for sure. Uh, on the fourth ceremony. Oh, thanks for the follow, uh, Azeron. Easiest bison points, maybe? Earning some bisons? Wow, Cheney getting pommed. Unbelievable. So it's a very low effort to get the uh, assists to bang the white. Or even... Uh, yeah, no, there's, there's plenty on offer. Really strange to see this full man commitment, though. So early, on the perfect defense. Wouldn't mind at least one safe play first, though, just just quietly. Yeah, look, I, I can't see anything other than the palm on chain. To not have to deal with a full strength wolf It'd be amazing.
This is good though, safe place first. Ish. Yeah, Jim's got enough block now that he shouldn't be too concerned. And with the extra guard on the warrior and a guard on a rotter, it's uh, gonna be nice. Oh, baby. Ah, only a stun. Good block, though. Getting him on the ground is nice. Minor foul risk. I think there is a zombie in range. On a double GFR, single GFR after white moves. I mean, single GFI for a two-assist foul on the Pommer. I'd take that if I was this, uh, this Necro. He's got a three-rotter bench. A three-phrase, a, a three-zombie bench. I'm going to say that fouling is part of his plan. A three-zombie bench is pretty deep for the TV that he's at. I uh, sorry, I'm all, I've got a cold. I was, uh, I went to the, uh, the Hamburg markets and I pucked up some fish. I don't even know where I'm going with this accent now. I got some fish from the market and uh, I might have got sick from it. So I went to the doctor and I got some medicine and they said that I might sound like a convict. You know, this Red Whale 87. Good work following my channel. TP Cheney. Ah, uh, oh, you know he wants to. It'd just be so bad if he did. So yeah, look, uh, I'd be worried we had a four strength wolf. Jim is too. Seems like a, a reasonable course of action, prominent. And then looking for the DP. Uh, protected the ball, ball in hand. Uh, by dodging out the rudder on the right flank, it has left a ghoul and a white and a wolf, you know, somewhat out of position. They can still go around and threaten the ball and put pressure on. And based on their aggressive setup, rephrase their hyper aggressive setup, uh, it's safe to say that his plan for this game is to go aggressive. It, and it will be, you know, swarm in the back and single man marking with zombies. Uh, so Jim's got to keep everyone tight and clustered, make use of that guard. Yeah, nah, definitely chaining over a flushy. And uh, Jim's got no wizard. It's MC Hammond as the wizard. But I think he should have. Uh, Morbid Orbit says posted the stats that this guy's team is uh, 6 0 0. And had he looked at the stats and paid attention and not been distracted by chat, he said, wow, Necro team. This guy probably knows what he's doing. I should probably buy a wizard. It says for the foul look now, I think it's just was the chain. The protection wasn't going to be bad. Might have even been not the foul. Who knows? Nobody knows. Jim knows. But And the failing of stun guys, I don't think something Jim likes to do either. So it could have been just protection. I couldn't see where he was mousing. 
I bet you guys would have. Uh, heavy base contact. Guard, uh, one of the guard warriors a little time right. Cool, not doing a holy in the center. A wolf, uh, a bodge wolf is blitzable and pommable. And plenty of books to be had. Fatality. Oh, baby. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, was that 100% of the Necro's guard? It was. No guard from the Necro anymore. Happy days for Jim. You know he jumped up and down in, in real life at the moment. He's a static. Yeah, he's going a lazy, uh, lazy route of play uh, at the end of the season where none of them know. Well, see, that's the thing. Like towards the end, it's just going to be casual players who happen to be spinning or people that are looking to make a late charge. It is definitely better off playing at the start. It is uh, the predicted luck on the wolf. Oh man, this bad boy regens there. Dirty, dirty region. Makes the drive really nice, though. Uh, so, Cage will be fairly safe on the left hand side. Uh, dirty player should probably foul on Cheney still. As you sort of don't want the Palmer being hit by chaining, just because of those sorts of removals is just so next level. Uh, no, definitely not over yet. Uh, it is only turn two, and the Necro do have Claw. While well, there is a 20% difference in having Claw Mighty Blow pile on versus just having Claw. 20% uh, in Blood Bowl happens all the time. And the Necros are radically faster. Having three, eight move, three and four strength fellas for a lot of teams would be hard to deal with. And if the Pestigors are ever out of position, and like the, the Blodge Wolf, if that can't be caught with the Pommer, it's going to be hard to take down Jim with no wrestle and a single tackle. I would not, if, if the Wolf that died didn't regen, I would say uh, it's pretty much in the bag. Uh, this drive is pretty much in the bag, but the game is still anyone's. Especially with the Necro having the wizard still. Alright, so uh, Jim's done a good job fixing the right-hand side of the field, just so that warrior isn't getting banged on for free and then people move or react elsewhere. He's uh, tied them up and denied desirable blocks, uh, which is good on the left-hand side. So she's just standing up. Ghoul makes a red die on a GFI. Oh man, a uh, early wizard. 
the recovery is going to be piss weak. I don't know about that wizard. Burning it on turn two when the recovery is not great. Like, best case scenario, Ghoul picks up the ball. Doesn't really go anywhere. Rephrase, best case scenario is Ghoul picks up the ball and throws to another Ghoul. Or, or something crazy. It's low percentage. I don't like that wizard. And similarly, Jim was lucky playing around the wizard. And now he doesn't have to anymore. And the gain is insignificant. On turn two, when, you know, he's still got plenty of time to score. If it was, you know, turn six and the ball's midfield, you've probably stopped Nurgle. But on turn two, it's just such a waste. I think it was the Necro coach looking around saying, right, I've got no room. On the right, I've only got one D's on the left. Uh, Fleshy's somewhat denied. Although he could flesh Golem block the uh, Pommer. And then Chaining could three pass. To then follow up blocking. Yeah, definitely dodgy wizard. No, oh, picked up the ball, boo. Oh man. That is not the square to be in. Yeah, the dirty play was stolen, absolutely. Wow, and also all that trouble to pick up the ball, and then just attempts to lob it. I guess he looks at it and he says, right, the wolf then dodges out and reacts. No, because it's a turnover. If he dodged out the wolf first, and then ran downfield, and then threw to the wolf, that would have been not completely shit on, on a 3 plus to be not a fumble. So yeah, re-rolling the 5 plus to not be a 1 or a to have the ball go a reasonable distance would be fine if the wolf was downfield first. But with the wolf not being downfield first, it's pretty shit. Because uh, the ghoul gets blitzed and then the uh, the Nurgle slowly moved to recover. I mean, the Necros are definitely faster, so yeah, it's not it's not outrageously bad idea, but it's only 55% to block the ghoul. I would just held onto the ball. There's rarely a situation where, unless you're looking to stall, is a good idea. Oh, baby. See you, Chaney. He should be moving, uh... Moving that warrior first, just in case it's a quad skull or something dumb. Ah, uh, unpunished. 
the dilemma now is that by not blitzing the ghoul, yeah, it still has the potential for D6 related shenanigans. Four, four, three, three. Uh, thirty four percent to score with the ghoul in a uh, four 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 three. That's it. Thirty four percent. What about red die push three plus three plus? Forty-nine percent for a red dot push three plus three plus to score. Oh baby. That'd be a GFI as well. So uh forty-five percent to score, that's not even bad. Oh yeah, for sure. Cheney gone. Well yeah, but still. I mean, having not uh, <laughs> and, uh, making it hard for my opponent to score the surfing training, I would much rather not be down on my own offense on turn three. Yeah, or well, just when you're looking at, you know, multiple four pluses, there's usually something better. Yes, that seemed to be a not relevant. This wolf blitzing? Was it ever blitzing something even remotely useful? This is Sparta! Wouldn't have minded some people standing up for us. But uh, Cheney Ghoul and a wolf off the field. And the wizard consumed. Jim's gotta be pleased. Yeah, me too, Billy. Me too. Yeah, boy. Down to one girl. Nice box too. The reroll's a bit scary. Tell you what, this is what probably what Jim's thinking. He's saying, right, if I can make every block and get every single noble uh, necro on the ground, uh, I could get away with not rerolling it. But you know, it's, it's still always better <laughs> rerolling the pickup when it's on the sideline. If it lands next to the wolf, you'll just feel so bad.
Yeah, well, look, Ducky, uh, sorry, best for goal making the pickup is fine, but Excellent. he wanted to surf the goal without using the blitz, so his blitz could be with Pom, uh, tackle Pom on a goal pretty good, and got the result. I mean, that's that's what he needs to do to win. He's slower than the uh, the Necros by a substantial margin. Doesn't really have the goals uh, and the eight move Lodge Wolf. Uh, so just being radically up men could make up for that. And yeah, blitzing with Claw Palmer every turn is a uh, really good way to win a game. By really good, I mean a uh, nice and safe way. Nogal's strategy. What do you mean? I'm Jimmy. My name is Jimmy Fantastic, and I speak in third person all the time. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Oh man, I could I could refer to Jimmy in fourth person. Wait a minute, how do I do that? All right, I think I got it. Fash thinks that Jimmy should move his block noble warrior up to assist in a block on the uh, flesh golem. Fash also thinks that Jimmy's ball carrier should be moved up uh, adjacent to the Palmer with best for goal screening Ducky for goal. So Ducky's able to get the touchdown and the level. I think that's what Fash thinks Jimmy should do. Boom, fourth person confirmed. I did the double thumbs, really, even though no one could see. Let's see proper ways to do things. Oh, Red Whale. Let's find Red Whale, telling the truth. Happen to have my little bot open. We can, we can go and check. Call people out, that's what we do. See how many points he has. <laughs> yeah, so I thought about playing, uh, streaming something later, earlier. But it's just so hot in Australia, it's just so unpleasant. I just don't want to do anything. Oh man, there's a lot of people with red in the name. We got uh, Red Rocket. Oh man, Red Rocket. Uh, red Bubble. Red Pike. Red Dragon. Red Dazen. Red Eye Knight. Red Hat. Red Hattie. Red Klaxon. Red Rum. Red Logic. Red Mind. Red Oven. Red Plate. Red Scissors. Red Duck. Red Steel X. Red Whale 87. 160 Fash points he's got. Pretty good work. Red Whale. I mean, he, he only has watched six hours of uh, Glorious Fash Finder 720p, highly skillful, salt free, meme loading. Exactly. Let's get a third party to do things for me. But no, look, it, it's a good idea. I'm sure those who've watched him for a while knows that he does uh, get into passionate speak turns while getting distracted by chat makes his turn in 10 seconds he doesn't really think it through he's still doing it quickly but yeah no look i i guarantee you 
it does it does distract you creating chat while playing and that often doesn't result in fantastic blood ball. Uh, no, I, I don't moderate anyone. That would be work. I'd have to do stuff. That seems like a lot of responsibility. Oh man. Thanks for the follow, Karsten Stal. 780. You could be my wind time, a wingman anytime. Oh, that's true, we could get the sage in. I'll just go and give the sage a call on Skype. Oh, yeah. I, can't, I can't even do a sage impersonation. Let me try my best. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna make. Nah, that's not, that's not even it. But I got the sniffing and snorting and coughing and throat clearing. Like that I can handle. I just don't think I can do those uh, Netherlands. Netherlands accents. Yeah, I mean, different people learn things in different ways. So, like, some people learn by doing, some people learn by seeing someone else do it, uh, some people learn by reading it, some people learn by watching it. And in the same sort of vein, uh, some people might find it exhausting to have to, using a spoken language, convey thought into words. As we, we humans have been doing it since birth, we perhaps don't notice it. But there it would still be some form of uh, use of your brain. It's a, it's a use of your brain to speak, uh, to convey a message. And if you're going to avoid using your brain for anything other than planning out your turn, if you're looking to try hard, it's probably not a bad idea. I'll tell you what, I'll get, uh, I'll get combat on. Ring ring, do 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 do. Skype music, do 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 do. Oh, law fast part now. That's 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 Jimmy again. Oh, law fast binder. It's combat bonnet. I've been taking a wee trip down the rabbit hole. Oh, that's that's nice to hear. Combat. What have you been up to today? Oh, I just had some huggers. And I put it in my mouth. That was pretty tasty. Oh really, you put haggis in your mouth? No, oh, I don't consume it rectally. Well, it's a bit odd to be consuming food rectally. I mean, I understand that it works functionally, in that you physically could. Uh, as the anus wall, as I understand it, does absorb uh, uh, like anything that's in there. At least, at least I think it does. Yeah, it does, you trust me? That's what we do in Scotland. We, we put things in our butts. And, and that's how we eat them. Do you know uh, there's a really famous Scottish restaurant near my house? Um, that I'm pretty sure everyone in the world has been to. I can't, can't remember its name, but it's very popular. And they sell authentic Scottish food. I think it was a farmer that that started it. That's oh, gonna kill me. I can't think of it. Does anyone know the 
the name of that the, the really popular Scottish restaurant that you can find in almost every country. Oh man! Uh, no beast scouting. Oh, Bongo Mike, you got it. Wow, I'm easy to read. Here I was thinking I was witty and clever. Uh, but no, look, the beast, like every other big guy, except for the crocs and the ogre, um, are just unreliable and expensive for what they do. Like, for example, you know, Chaos and Nurgle don't really need their big because they've got four strength blitzes from everywhere. And just, you know, Wild Animal and Lona, just much for risk. Call and see loving. Could have. Should have. We will criticize him for that post match. Tell him how not fantastic it was. Man, could have brought a zombie along to allow this uh, zombie blitz to have been a chain that moved the flesh golem out of the way and allowed the flesh golem to get a 3 to block on this last rotter. Bit remiss to not do it. Uh, similarly, both coaches potentially with a one-man bench. That was probably not even worth. Yeah, straight up on Madon. Straight up. If you got a uh, double frenzy, it's not even hard. He should have. He should have passed to Cheney there for the catch for his um, his level up. Um, well, reframes is still. A I lot could of have fouled there at the end, but um, I didn't want to. You know, if he got a removal and I got sent off, I'd been done. But yeah, again. the idea is that the wolf on the down. LOS. I could have makes protected the frenzy against lock the, um, to get the thing, but I got a riot to be honest. And then you've the made uh, your three your standard three square push without having uh, used your blitz and then your blitz gets the final fourth square to allow your eight move guy to go 12. Uh, I can't hear Jimmy now. It's Jimmy talking. Hello, Jimmy. I, I am muted ah. on the stream, but not on the Discord. Um, yeah, I could have fouled on the last turn of the half. I thought about it, but then I thought, if I get sent off, my guy doesn't get come back. And he's got three claw hits, hasn't he, on the LOS? Although he didn't actually he didn't make a claw hit on the LOS. Um, no. I thought three claw hits on the LOS. You know, there's a reasonable chance of him getting a KO or a Kaz and then they're not recovering. And I don't want to be down to 10 players to go for the start of the second half. And plus, the best players to follow have been the Flesh Golems, which have an AV9 and Thick Skull as well. With regen, the foul seemed really low percentage. Um, not something I really wanted to do. And setting up there, I could have obviously, you know, benched my Claw Pommer, probably a good idea. But then I thought if he gets a riot, I want to be able to tackle down his scoring threat, don't I? Potentially tackle Pom. Ooh. Claw, pom. So All I thought, options considered. So Very yeah, good. I, d I did consider the rock, but I just thought, you know, he's. I, d I didn't want to. I didn't want to stop the one turner properly because I didn't want to give up claw hits on the warriors to do that. But um, I thought it was worth, you know, hedging against the right a little bit. Um, so yeah, he made one claw hit on the LOS. Holy shit, Valena. Yeah, I would have made three. <laughs> and and yeah, he should have. And also, like I said when I was muted on Discord, Fash, he he passed to his werewolf to level up his to get a star player level up his white. He should have passed to Cheney, obviously, because Cheney's got catch. So absolutely. So there you go. Right. Um. So I'll, I shall I shall go back to concentrating. So goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the follows and. Um, <laughs>
Sorry, I've I can't respond, them. but Fash, Fash is doing a great job, so thank you, Fash. And, uh, and no worries. Oh, actually, I'm coming back. I'm going to keep on uh, talking to you, Fash. Oh, thanks, Jim. I, uh, I'm going to uh, enjoy the company. So how do you feel you're going with this uh, defensive setup, going for the bow or the rule of five? Oh, uh, well, you know, going for the rule of five to protect my best players from the claw bloods. Uh, got, got on, I got uh, unskilled chaos warriors and uh, and the guard zombie exposed. Got a nice shot, kick okay, there. Okay. I uh, saw so the the deep field goal. I we'll have to move all the way to go and pick it up. And if I wanted to chain your blitz, it'll be a bit a little bit harder for him. <laughs> Hello, Sanai. I can tell you stories about Sanai. Many, many stories. And... <laughs> um, hello, VIP Sanai. You know, happy New Year. Um, <laughs> try to ignore Fash, please, Sanai. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Don't ignore him. Now we, we have an intense GTA rivalry. Hey, good work on uh, Necrocoach making his first three out of again. Yeah, I'm with Eric. I think a lot of these star player skills are fairly random. It's as if they just picked it out of a hat, rather than thought about, oh, uh, if someone's down in TV, what would they want to fix that deficit? We're going to give them star players so they can fix that deficit. Let's make the shittest star players we can. Yeah, the Cheney is one of the better ones for sure. But I mean, I'd much rather, um, you know, block and mighty blow over wrestle and catch. Dodging with a loner, unbelievable. <gasps> Attempting to reroll the loner, unbelievable. Knew it was a frenzy trap. Knew he had to dodge and still did it anyway. Deserve to lose the game, lose the game for that play alone. And look, Jim can capitalize if he manages to power uh, power zombie. You have the ball in the hand. And do you know what they say? Yeah, but Cheney would be amazing with, you know, just claw and frenzy. Ah, uh, goodbye, VIP Sinai eighty nine. Yeah, it's just a bit weird that if they're coming out with a new rule set and new cards with new costings that don't really make sense because they're not really appropriate. You know, with some decks being stronger than others and to, to make changes and it wasn't even an overhaul, they're just minor, minor tweaks. But if they did go for an overhaul, it'd be weird not to fix those sorts of things. Zeta 6, thanks for the follow. Yeah, look, pretty rolling the push for the uh, success allows best of to pick up the ball. Four strength short hands holding the ball while almost everyone else is tied up. Uh, Wolf can dodge, which is a bit shit uh, for Jim. 
and uh, GFI off the sideline seems pretty good. And he's also craftily had match for Gauls, he tackled Pommer uh, free in the backfield, expecting best for Gauls to get powered, but maybe not. But it would still be the 1 in 9 dodge. Maybe, maybe not. No, it is. Yeah, I think so too, Eric. I absolutely agree. And that's all I want, down 400 TV in a bash match. Wow! I guess he wanted to recover with the ghoul, but... Oh, man. If you bring in two assists for no reason, when he could have just brought in one assist, make it a three die. There's one more assist to get a three die to guarantee that you're not boned on your drive. Or just the single rotter uh, zombie to us and make you 2D blitz and hope that you get your 55% success and then move your last zombie in to react to the ball and then the ghoul for the pickup. There's now one ghoul in a middle position, that, uh, one zombie in a middle position that could have been in a better position. Yeah, exactly. Or Mercs with skills, or as Jim suggests, you buy items and you bestow those items upon your player for a game. A successful dodge into a successful pickup. After 55% to get the ball carrier down, pretty good turn for a good old MC Hammer. Why not the Demaster? What if, what if these stars were the most cost-efficient for their stats and skills uh, in the game? Wouldn't that make it fair for a team that's radically down in TV? Being able to get a player that is actually good and then fits with the fluff of star players being actual stars, better than the average, not worse than the average. Especially considering their learners. Like, even if their skills did cost them 20k and their stats were at a discount, uh, just being a loner would still make them shit. Much like how Jimmy advocates big guys not being rubbish, I would advocate stars not being rubbish. So yeah, look, really odd spot for the ball to go. Really odd spot for that last white to go. I don't know why he's so heavily marking best for doors. Uh, when the tackle bombers got a near immediate two die. <sighs> yeah, that's true, really. Oh man, War Machine and Guild Ball. Tell me more about these games, uh, Eric. I was arguing, uh, I wasn't arguing, I was talking to Dirt on the forums. And uh, he condescendingly told me to go and play Frozen Cortex. I'd never heard of Frozen Cortex and looked it up. And it was similar-ish to Blood Bowl. Uh, but didn't really involve dice. But it was just such a shit UI. And... I guess I, I only really played about six games of it. And so was therefore still a noob and didn't really know flawlessly all of the mechanics. And so I found that some of the things that the hour was doing to be a bit odd in the same way that a new player to Blood Bowl thinks that the Blood Bowl AI cheats. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got five players on the field and 
uh, if you're stationary, your blocking is stronger, and everyone exerts a control, a zone of control on the field. And there's obstacles on the field. And you can only throw forward. Battle soccer? Oh man. I'm gonna Google that shit right now. Oh, it's a... It's a miniatures game and not a beast game. Shameful. I'd have to leave the house and interact with other humans. That would be terrible. Oh man, Butcher's Guild. Butcher's Guild OP. Oh man, so distracted by Guild Ball, I missed it. Partly. Seems like... I guess with Vestigal's current position, I guess he fell to dodge. Uh, the Pom on the Ball Carrier, a successful one, not a stun. Oh man, Jim could be in trouble. Look, it's MC Hammer guy really rolling. I think he could have made a little bit of effort to maneuver a block. Um, not really, eh? Like freeing the wolf to be able to pick up the ball and get somewhere useful. Tell you what, the down wolf's probably better off as the ball carrier because the tackle so far away, Blodge will be nice. And the standing wolf can move eight to screen off the front. I actually think uh, this MC Hammer guy should be able to score. So yeah, Blodge guy carries, other guy dodges and attempts to screen. Even if the screening fails, uh, it's not tackle that's hitting him. So as long as you're not ending the turn on the sideline, he should be fine. Wow, not picking up the ball to make 1Ds without a reroll. Deserves to lose the game for that. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. If he's got a 6-0 record, he needs to be playing for the win. And making rubbish 1Ds and not picking up the ball is not how you win the game. 100% Lodge Wolf needed to pick up the ball and move down into a scoring position. And Standing Wolf needed to screen it. There was little recourse outside of Chaos Warriors uh, blitzing the front of the screen. And by Chaos Warriors, I mean Noble Warriors. Uh, two would have been freed. Uh, no one else was really going to interact, other than maybe the, the rockers on the right-hand side. And even then, I'm sure a wolf could have moved his way through. Oh, three players on a team seems a bit crazy. Oh, 
<laughs> it's not through? Alright, oh, yeah, nah. I mean, that's the dream, though, is to find a game that could be Blood Bowl. Uh, that Games Workshop uh, doesn't own, and then buy the rights to it and make a PC version, and then make it and do it properly. Just imagine if Blood Bowl for PC was good. Oh, fantastic scatter. No, oh, the dilemma is not out of the woods. Surfed anywhere. Hmm. The sun's nice, so the first option could be tagging the flesh column with the ball carrier. It would force a man on the sideline to get the surf. Seems dumb. Second option could be basing the wolf. Uh, and then standing up mash for gauze. Mash Falls gets banged, Wolf gets chained, Ball Carry gets surfed. Uh, standing next to the white, Wolf dodges into a one into a red. Hmm. Flesh Farm would assist, it'd be a two into a one. He'll get surfed. Uh, double GFI to get to the far side of the white. It would be a double Wolf dodge. Oh man, Jim, got the right idea. And look, it still gets surfed, uh, but it's an extra dodge now. And it's not the Flesh Golem for free. Actually, it wasn't the Flesh Golem for free before either, due to the extra man marking. I think uh, Jugo's Dylan is BMing me. Next level will be BMing me. Although, I uh, I guarantee you that my win in Champ Ladder Season 2 is better than Jim's. Well, he's hesitating on this. Wow, he's not. Does he think this is safe? Absolute madman! Is he... Was he also not surfing it? Oh, we, we, we couldn't tell. Oh, I couldn't tell which square he was blitzing to. But the, the two and the one seem to be pretty straightforward. And I don't see why you wouldn't re-roll it. Because uh, Jim... Best for gold blitzes. Or even frees up the pommer and poms the ghoul and then just dodges from the white. And if the ghoul is stunned, uh, best for gold outruns the white. As best for gold is a square up with seven movement. GG. Necro coach really. Uh, Really dropping the ball. Ah, uh, inattentive. Fair enough. He should have rolled it though. Oh, he was serving. Fair enough. Still would have rolled it. This would be good. The uh, rotter will screen out the white dodge, and 
also then protect for if the ball carrier dodges a one and nine. Similarly, with that removal, Jim could even just block with best for goals and not even dodge. Lucky he didn't dodge. Would have been snakes. Yeah, and still, look, he doesn't need to score 3 0. He's not scoring 3 0 this game. Uh, so, yeah, there's no, there's no need to dodge and go. Uh, so, the right play from Jim to, to just block. All secured, position dominant, easy peasy. Oh man, all these guys BMing a game that they just found out about 10 seconds ago based on uh, based on a picture. I was about to make a really cool analogy about uh, judging books by their covers and I was going to sneak in the Bible and uh, Mein Kampf as, uh, as sources for the joke. But I thought that might be a bit insensitive. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's that's the thing. Uh, I'll go uh, start a GoFundMe and commit to making Blood Bowl for PC. Uh, a rule change with with all the rule changes that I think should happen in less uh, lulls randomness and more strategic uh, risk mitigation update style player officers uh, remove dumb RNG and uh, and by dumb RNG I mean yeah, stuff that happens for lulls not stuff that happens as a result of you and uh, because you'll never get the Games Workshop IP if sign out of the rights to it, and even then you wouldn't want to pay an exorbitant. I would rename all the teams to uh, you know gimmicky shit, like it would be uh, Little Men and Big Men, Green Men and Blue Men, and all that sort of stuff. And it would be mechanically the same game, and it would be glorious. And you should all buy it. Looks to be. Gotta level those uh, Nova Warriors. Yeah, sweltering a heat. I don't even like a uh, right, to be honest. I think if someone's managed the clock and done a successful 2-1 grind, you don't deserve the extra chance to score into. They will never, of my fictional games company, Fatfox, we will never release a product on my console. Ah, 
I think fan talks is talking about a fictional, fictional uh, love ball spin off. Really? I know. Uh, I think hiding in the back's fine. If around, it's, uh, it's a screen for the one turner. And even then, most teams, unless they're, you know, dwarfs, uh, even if they are at the back, still have the capacity to stop you post riot. I always see riots in, and, you know, scoring in two as, you know, sort of janky shit. If it kicks deep and someone's doing, you know, five plus passes to mark guys that then dodge through a bunch of tackle zones, like the deep all man's uh, at the back, you know, the generic one turn stopping defensive setup. Um,. Yeah, that, that will usually solve a two-turn play anyway. And then those two-turn plays just become super dicey and not anything too exciting. Yeah, absolutely. I remember having this discussion forever ago, and uh, yeah, there's there's some sort of mitigation. So blitz might be nerfed to just one guy's allowed to make a blitz action. Yeah, but more realistically, it would be so that every single, you know, of the random events that do happen, they serve some form of purpose that has people uh, willing to react to it, I guess. So, I mean, people currently set up to protect against uh, blitzes, but the best blitz defense, while also making LOS blocks, is just shit. But it's those sorts of things where you say, right, I know this option exists, you know, or I know when I make this block, I have the capacity to get a double skull, so maybe I don't make this block, or, you know, I know on the pickup table that this could happen, so I'm going to do this as a result. That is Blood Bowl in a nutshell. So, yeah, let them, let them plan for that sort of stuff to happen. But it, there needs to be counterplay to it. Yeah, that's true, but the uh, movement 9 edgy forward dodge blitz uh, is then net. And so then you on offense says, right, I'm going to make my lowest blocks, and if he does manage to potato someone down, he's the double runner. Who do I have to react on which sides of the field? I mean, blitzes are terrifying because it's the whole team that gets around and forms a cage around the ball. Uh, but it's just a single man in the backfield. I wouldn't be bothered. Well, it would still be annoying, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, absolutely, Villainage, for sure. There's no doubt that at some point in its uh, history, Blood Bowl was designed for casual play, for sure. And then another point, Jimmy knows this sort of stuff more than I. Uh, it changed to a game where... Well, not, not really changed, but it was a focus more on surrounding stuff. Oh. 
I know it's something to discuss with Jimmy at, at half time. He loves these sorts of conversations. But yeah, no, there'd be there'd two ways to, to do Blood Bowl. One, it would just be more randomness and people would play it casually and uh, quite unquote have fun with their friends in real life, moving people around and saying, oh, look how cool and fun this is. Look how good your guys that you painted look. And uh, they'll absolutely love it and they'll think Blood Bowl's the greatest game. Uh, others will look at it and just say, oh, this seems dumb as shit. I think the best, best player should always win. It'd be made like a like a novelty game of chess, like quantum chess, for example. Uh, seems really appealing. It's on Steam. It's reasonably cheap, and it's kind of like Blood Bowl in that you know you move your pieces around the field and you take them, but you can do a quantum move in which you move through other people, and or do a quantum move uh, which results in that move having your guy that you've moved be in two places at once. And based on a coin flip, if you've only done one quantum entanglement, uh, you know, your queen then, when it's newly, well, when one of the queen's positions becomes occupied, you then do the coin flip to find out where the queen actually is and then resolve that action. And so that's sort of like Blood Bowl in that you're using dice or chance in this instance to determine the result of an action. And that's all Blood Bowl is, or that's all, all any tabletop games are. It's, you know, I attack here with this magic missile, I 2d6, my missile's hit. Cool. And so for Quantum Chess, giving that same adaption to, to Chess oh is God, pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Billy. Like, TV Plus, for example, I think TV Plus, Blue Mike's one, should happen in the open ladder. I think potions should happen in the ocean, open ladder. I think every novel gimmick, lols for fun, do whatever you want, have fun, go, stuff should happen in the open ladder. Without a doubt. Then have competitive Blood Bowl. Truly be competitive. Where your decisions determine who wins and not some crazy randomness. Yeah, absolutely, Doctor. All right, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Fashbinder. Yeah, it was a pretty good game, wasn't hello. it? Easy yeah, game, easy life. It was nice. a little worrying at the start. He had a good record as a 6 0 team. Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> Distracted by, by chat. <laughs> Distracted by chat, absolutely. Silly Jim. Four cars um, for yeah, no, the Ridiculous Wizard, I thought it was uh, terrible. Yeah, Some I didn't Silly like Dodgen. Yeah. Silly, not re-rolling. Yeah, just just throw it away. Yeah, I didn't like the wizard. I've got to got to admit. Right, frenzy or a stat? All right, frenzy. Need that frenzy guy. So yeah, now it's start, starting to look all right, isn't it? He could actually make these seventy-six <laughs> the way he's been going. Ten. He's made. He's made twenty star play points in the last two games. <laughs> Ten oh, cars in the last two games. <laughs> so um, have you been doing sound effects? Sound effects. Yeah, some sound. Yeah, I put the soundboard on for sound effects, but then it does it when I'm oh, typing. Baby. Dash, dash is hair pylons. So all these six o o and stuff is got hair pylon. Thank you, thank you very much, everybody. Um, Happy New Year, Skurometo, and everyone else. Yeah, the wizard was wasted, I think. Yeah, and the star player left exposed. Yeah, but yeah, to be fair, he did have the fifty percent chance because only because I served Cheney though. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have served Cheney. I couldn't resist it though. I should have taken the pow and then blitz the ghoul in retrospect because it was it was so easy from the score, wasn't it? So easy from the score of that. Yeah, absolutely. It was forty five percent or something for a red push. Yeah, fucking horrific. Um, discussions about about randomness in Blood Bowl. Um, right. Well, let let me let me first wrap up this match. So we've got twelve players. I would really like a thirteenth, but I don't want to really buy one. I might I might as well buy him right now because I'm gonna have to waste the money anyway. And yeah, it's crazy that they ask you to to confirm sacking a cheerleader, but you can. 
you can misclick concede. That's crazy, isn't it? Right, so we're 13 players. It's 1670. That's getting... But, I mean, 1630 with 12 is scary, isn't it? So I think I actually have to keep 13 for the next match. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is potentially... He could make legend. He could actually make legend match for goals. As crazy as that is, 20 star player points in two games. It's not even crazy. No, it's it. There is. Who would have thought a top one were making a legend? No way. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I know, but in such few games, it'd be pretty crazy, right? So, it's how much is this? 20, 24 games now, is that? Yeah. Um. So I need eight wins in a row now, which isn't too too bad. Like it's hard, obviously, but having all the block is now great, isn't it? Seven block players is really nice. Um, some guard. I could have even made Mighty Blow first on one of them. Maybe this guy could go Mighty Blow when he levels and then go Mighty Blow Claw. Because I do need some more Claw, I think. I'm lacking in the pain department. I'm just entirely reliant on Mash Vagals. So I would like a Mighty Blow Claw guy. Maybe I could have taken Mighty Blow on him on, on 8. Maybe. But still, I just love having block and not having to fucking dick around with horrible blocks. Um... Right. I really like the frenzy because the the blodges could be really scary. Yeah, I mean he doesn't have many, but you know as soon as you encounter an elf team and they're blodging away, um, yeah, could be trouble. Yeah, I really like a tackle pommer and a frenzy pommer. So he's gonna go block frenzy, mighty blow, claw piling on, or maybe he's even block frenzy. No, he's he's definitely gonna go block frenzy, mighty blow, claw piling on. Yeah, that, that that's his order. Um. Could almost go panning on before claw, but not gonna need need them claw mens. Um the fourth Pestigo White Voron will be if I get to a lot of games. Like once this guy's basically sorted, which is a, a while away. I wanna funnel all the star player points onto him basically, I think, now. So I can get another claw pommer. Um now that I've got block on these, they'll eventually get guard. They're 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 good enough just with block, aren't they? Like, obviously, I'd love guard on them as well. So if I get the chance for a cheeky Nurgle Warrior touchdown, I guess I'll still take it. Like, especially him to get to 11. And then if the if the MVP drops on them, they're happy. They get guard. But I want to funnel as much as I can on a Ducky Fago. Um, obviously, I still want to make the 76 on Best Fago. But funnel as much as I can on a Ducky Fago. Get Mighty Blow Claw piling on, on him, maybe. Which is a fair distance away. Um, and then I could get the fourth one just with Wrestle. I just, I just wouldn't mind just a Wrestle guy. Um, because you know, like the eighth, and I, I could even buy a, a beast as well. Like if I get a concession where I just end up with like three hundred and fifty, I could just go Pestigo beast and then sit on them for the um things. But there you go, the say fantastic is coming. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.